More in-depth coverage now from Campaign 2016. Political analyst Joe Fleming joining us live in studio again. And uh, last hour over on WPRI 12, we talked about the Democrats. Let's talk about the Republicans. Sure. We need a whole show <laughs> just dedicated to the Republican situation. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's talk about Donald Trump. Yep. We last had you in studio, I think it was about two or three weeks ago, yep. and the Trump train was rolling down the tracks. Mm -hmm. It seems like he's losing a little momentum here. There's no question he's losing momentum. Uh, Wisconsin was a state Donald Trump probably should have won. A couple months ago, Ted Cruz looked like he had no chance at all in Wisconsin. However, things turned around. The establishment tended to get behind Ted Cruz, the conservative radio talk show host behind Ted Cruz. Donald Trump's own words have hurt Donald Trump in the last week. He had a very bad week. I think last night was a combination of all the problems Donald Trump has had. So you have Kasich, Cruz, and Trump now. Right. And what do you think Republican leaders are thinking behind closed doors? Like, what do we do with this situation? Because well, they're not exactly throwing their support behind Trump. No, they're not at all. I think they're throwing it more behind Ted Cruz. I think we saw that in Wisconsin. Uh, the establishment is basically backing Ted Cruz. Not so much they may love Ted Cruz, but they'd rather have him than Donald Trump. I think they see if Donald Trump's the nominee, there's going to be a lot of problems in the general election. It also hurts Senate and House races at the same time. So I really believe the establishment wants to help Cruz at this point. But again, Donald Trump still has a delegate lead, and he's still in a very strong position. So you got a guy like Kasich hanging around who thinks he can win, and yep. uh, he's in the race. Now, does he hurt or help Trump? In other words, does, it, with Kasich in the race, does that help out Ted Cruz, or is this helping out Donald Trump? Well, I think it helps Trump in some ways, because I think a lot of the Kasich votes is probably not Trump's vote. But at the same time, as long as Kasich's in the race, it's going to be hard for either Cruz or Trump to get to the magic number of 1237. Because Kasich will grab a couple delegates here, a couple delegates there. And as long as it keeps these two people below 50%, it's going to be an open convention. That is what John Kasich wants, an open convention. That's his only chance. It's been a long time since Rhode Island's mattered yes. when it comes to the presidential primaries, or at least we knew what was going to happen right. forever. Uh, could, I don't know if it could be different this year, but more attention will be paid probably to Rhode Island. There's no question. I think we're going to see the three Republican candidates possibly come to the state. I think Donald Trump will probably definitely be here. I think he believes it's a state that he can win. Republicans in Rhode Island are angry. That may help Donald Trump big time. I think on the Democratic side, we're going to see the Democrats also come in. But the Republicans, I think we're going to see very active primary over the next three weeks. Love it. All right. Thank you, Joe. Great to see you again. Joe's got a tan down in Florida golfing, right? Looking good. Coverage of our uh, campaign 2016 continues online. You can see more analysis from Tan Joe right now on WPRI.com. We also have you covered on the Eyewitness News app as well.